Yeah, there, folks. Well, I thought I'd put that uh, Friggs and Stratton back together again, the one with the scored bore. And my dad suggested just experiment by shaving the head and see what it does. It ran all right when I was feeding fuel straight into it. So, well, yeah, it, ha it hasn't really lost much compression despite the broken ring. So, I'm just going to shave a bit off this head face here, like take it down to this material here or even further. I don't have a mill to mill that out again, but we'll see what that does. And just increase the squish in the uh, compression chamber. So I'm going to try and grip it in the three-jaw chuck true enough that I can face it off without ruining it. I mean, if I do ruin it, then I've got a couple of spares or something or other floating around, I think. Either way, it's a parts engine, so it doesn't matter if I wreck it. I'll just take this pulley out. I was going to surface it on this machine, but uh, as suggested by, I uh, can't remember who it was, I think Steam Molly or somebody suggested using a uh, engine lathe of a taper compound and just do a slight taper either side to recrown the pulley. So that can come out and I'm going to move all this crap out of the way. Now this lathe definitely doesn't have an original chuck or backing plate on it. This one's a lot bigger than what it probably would have had. Uh, it's made in 1967 in Taiwan. It's just a generic chuck. Uh, it's the same size as what I had on the old engine lathe I used to operate in a foundry. That was a HMT NH26. If you Google that model number, you'll uh, see the lathe I used to operate. And that thing was an absolute beast. 26 inch swing. The bed was just over two and a half meters long. And you could almost, you could probably take, you could take off the full half inch width of the cutter just in mild steel. Just plow it off in one go. That thing had a horsepower. Uh, good thing about these chucks is you can uh, just turn the jaws around like this. You don't have to actually wind them out and swap them over for inside or outside jaws. You just reverse them around for uh, outside clamping work. I'm only changing them so that I can grip this. I'll at least try to anyway. millimeters off this one so whatever happens happens it'll either be positive or negative and it's a junk engine so I've got not much not much else to lose we'll see how this works all right we're back together again sort of no governor or anything I've just put a spring on the throttle control uh, filled up the fuel tank I just gave her a few spins with the, my hand over the throttle to uh, or the carburetor to choke it and bring some fuel up uh, the result is very instantaneous, there's lots of fuel in there at the moment. So the carb is definitely working, my fuel pump's working. So uh, let's see how we go with the spark. Just got to wind the throttle screw out a little bit at a time. Hmm. Doesn't want to 
could be a fueling issue. But it's working with the shaved head though. That's always a good thing. Fuel coming through. Yeah, I just need some fine tuning. Well, there you go, you can shave two millimeters off a of Briggs and Stratton head and it'll still work. That's actually pretty good. I'm using a new head gasket too. So, so far it's all, all it's cost me is $15. I've got a second hand cowling here with a uh, good pull start on it. It's a lot older than the engine itself, but it'll work. Compression makes idling a bit hard, but it works. I'll have to go away. <laughs> That's too high. it to death. <laughs> I don't want it to get too warm. See a bit of crud burning off the head. Yeah, it's just warm. Well, it works. Obviously raising compression raises the uh, idle speed, but this thing just wants to break free of the table and keep going. <laughs> so it goes to show you can shave about two and a half to three millimeters off one of these heads and it still works. Brought the compression right up even with a busted ring and a big deep score in the bore of the cylinder. Got old Briggs and Stratton. Even if this is a 1987 model, a modern one. Well let's try pre-starting it. This is a pretty good compression now. <laughs> Make that really good compression. Thanks for watching.